Hello everyone and welcome to the course on Google Cloud Platform or GCP. So without wasting much time, we will move to the agenda of this course. There are 12 sections in this course and each of the section will focus on some specific theme of GCP such as compute, storage, network, security, analytics and so on. Every section will start with a learning objective that will help you understand what to expect from the section. I will also provide an overview of the services that are covered in that section uh, followed by a detailed discussion on each of the services. I will also make sure that there is a demo at the end of each section that will help you understand the concepts through the hands-on approach. Finally, we will summarize and wrap up the section with discussion on use case scenarios. I personally feel that this is the very unique approach where you take away when to use a service based on specific business scenarios. If you are going to take this course, I feel that you should know about your instructor. So my name is Vikash and I have a total of nine years of experience working with different technologies like uh, cloud, microservices, Spring Boot. Currently I work for IBM and I also have experience working with AI and machine learning. I have also worked on industrial IoT and MQTT. So for now, that's all about me. You should know. And let's move to the key takeaways from this course. Since this course is for absolute beginners, it is structured in such a way that you understand the most important concepts about Google Cloud Platform. So this course will help you understand the big picture of the Google Cloud Platform along with the essential building blocks of the GCP, such as compute, storage, network, identity management, we will also discuss about some of the additional services like databases, data and analytics, artificial intelligence and machine learning, DevOps, and some of the other services. So this course will help you get the big picture through the essential building blocks of GCP. Now let's move to the very first section of our course that is overview of Google Cloud Platform. And this section includes the big picture of Google Cloud Platform, the key building blocks of the Google Cloud Platform and some of the other services that are offered by this Google Cloud Platform. Let's look at the big picture of the Google Cloud Platform. So Google is one of the hyperscale infrastructure providers and its footprints are spread across the globe. You can see these dots here. These are basically the availability of Google Cloud Platform in these regions. It's America, Europe, Asia, and everywhere you can see it. To put things in perspective, let's look at some of the numbers that we have here. So Google currently has 20 regions, 61 zones, 134 cloud edge locations, and its customer is spread across more than 200 countries and territories. So what is the reason? A reason is nothing but the data centers. And each of the data centers is associated with zones. So typically when the Google will launch any reason, it will be having at least two zones associated with that reason. And that is for providing availability, reliability, and redundancy to the customers. When a customer will launch their application, they will launch it in more than one zones so that it is highly available to their customers. The network edge location are basically to serve the static content which will enhance the user experience. Right? Along with that, Google is also planning to expand its services across South Korea, USA, and Indonesia. So this we discuss about its numbers. So these are the numbers that are currently available. Now let's look at some of the core building blocks of the Google Cloud Platform. And at the bottom of the stack, there is a compute service, which is the essential building block of any cloud service. And then we have the storage that provides durability and persistence to the application and of course we have the network that enables communication between multiple applications so these are the basic services that a cloud provider should be having right so on top of that there are databases and the databases that are provided by google can be both no sql databases as well as relational databases Along with that, they also provide data and analytics tools that adds intelligence to the business application 
and data warehouse in the cloud. Google is also known for AI and machine learning, and there are few number of tools that are offered in this segment. On top of that, to serve different needs of the customers, Google also provides hybrid and multi-cloud infrastructure along with the API management and also migration facility for the customers who want to migrate from on-premise to cloud. And along with that, Google also provide security and DevOps tools to the applications and these are spread across all the layers. And the most important thing that is offered by the Google is the management tool that is used for managing all its applications in a very smart way. Since GCP is an ever-growing platform, we will not be able to learn all of the available services, but my objective is to ensure that you are equipped with the knowledge and the understanding of most of the critical building block services that are offered by Google, right? Now let's have a look at the key GCP services. And the first among them is a compute service. So as discussed earlier as well, compute is the foundational aspect of the GCP. And when it comes to the compute, there are lots of services that are offered by Google. There is infrastructure as a service that is provided by this compute engine. We also get the platform as a service or pass by this app engine. We get container as a service by this Kubernetes engine and function as a service by this cloud functions. We also have a cloud registry that manages Docker container images. We have a dedicated section where we will only discuss about this compute services. And the next key GCP service is the storage and database service. So the storage and databases provide persistence and durability to the applications. This includes services like block storage, object storage, and variety of databases including NoSQL, RDBMS, and in-memory databases. Like the compute service, we have a dedicated section for the storage and database, where we will discuss about differences between the object storage and the block storage, and with a deep dive into the databases. We will also discuss about the differences between this cloud spanner, cloud SQL, and so on. And the other key service in the list is network services. So what do you mean by networking? So networking, as you all know, it's used for connectivity. So how do it's used for connectivity? So in GCP, we can say that networking service will provide interconnectivity between our applications. How it does that? It has set of different applications in the cloud that will help doing the job. So for example, cloud virtual network that provides hybrid and isolated network capabilities within the cloud. Similarly, the cloud load balancing will distribute the traffic between different applications. And there are other applications as well like cloud CDN, cloud interconnect, cloud DNS that we will discuss in the separate lecture where we will discuss everything about the networking service. Now let's move to the next slide. So security is the most critical part of any application. And there are a set of services that enable customer to use the best practices for deploying secured application. There are services like Cloud IAM, Cloud Resource Manager, Cloud Security Scanner, Cloud Platform Security that deliver critical security to their customers. I have a dedicated section in which I will only discuss about the Cloud IAM and I will explain you how to use least privilege security for protecting your resources from unauthorized access. The next in the list is AI and machine learning. So AI and machine learning provides some of the emerging set of tools and technologies to their customers to build an intelligent application. So now what do you call an intelligent application? Whatever you type to your text, it will convert into a natural language. Whatever you speak, it will convert to the text. These are the services that use the artificial intelligence for making it possible. And Google Cloud Platform has a set of services from machine learning engine, which is used for a training platform for in the cloud for the variety of APIs. We will discuss about it in more details in the dedicated section of this video series. So the next in the list is DevOps tools. So what is DevOps? DevOps means development and operations. Both combined together, it becomes DevOps. Now, why do we need DevOps in our applications? In the development and operations, there are a set of tasks that are repetitive in nature and require some manual effort. 
and DevOps tools provided by the Google Cloud Platform reduce this manual task and repetitive task by automating it. GCP provides some tools that can be integrated with the IDEs and there are Google SDK Deployment Manager tools that can be used for making the manual work automated. Now next in the section is management tools. Now why do we need a management tool? In any cloud platform, if you don't have the management tools, you cannot manage and you cannot visualize what's happening in the backend. There are a set of tools like uh, Stack Driver for monitoring, there are tools for logging, there are tools for error reporting, the trace. So basically all these tools become very important when we are going to deploy our application on the cloud and we have to manage and monitor that application constantly. So in the dedicated section, we will cover some of the management tools that are very important in our day-to-day -day life. Now, apart from the services that we discussed earlier, there are some set of services that are provided by Google Cloud Platform, which adds value to the GCP. And these services are API Analytics, IoT Core, VPN, AutoML, and there are so many services in the list that adds value to the Google Cloud Platform. Now, in this whole section, we have discussed so many services and GCP offers more than hundreds of services. All of these services we will not be able to cover in this whole section. And the point is very clear that we want to focus on the building blocks of GCP where you can understand the critical components of Google Cloud Platform, right? Now, let me go ahead and summarize what we have learned in this section. So we have seen the Google Cloud Platform footprints where and all it is spread, how many regions and zones are there. Then we discussed some of the core components of the GCP, like compute, storage, network. And we also discussed that the platform has hundreds of services that are spanning over infrastructure, the platform and the software as a service. We also discussed about the security tools, the DevOps tools, the management tools. And we just had a walkthrough of the services that we are going to discuss in this whole course. So that concludes the first session of this tutorial. I will see you in the next video, but don't forget to subscribe our channel because we provide everything for free. And if you have come this far, that means that you like the content and you will continue to watch the next session as well. So it's, it's a request from you all to subscribe the channel and support us. Without your support, we are nothing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.